sim adults, uh, sim geriatric, mm -hmm. uh, you have a common STEM scenario that's credible. We found the individual uh, with a temperature of 94 degrees in a lake, i.e. a near drowning victim. The approach to the geriatric patient is going to be different than for the three month old. The uh, outcomes are going to be completely different. So we have the power. Oh, the cool thing again is the faculty, both the core faculty and the faculty champions, that breathe life into these scenarios. And the cool thing about Jefferson is that they not only paid for you know the infrastructure here, but also they paid for faculty to breathe life into it again. Otherwise, they're just pieces of plastic. Um, and if you have individuals that are creative, and all of us are creative, we can breathe life into these particular things and actually teach them. Oh. Oh. Cool. Uh, let's, uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> and then if, if, then if I'm in the, say I'm in the control room, I could put this headset on and actually speak through those same speakers. So when they come in and they say, please tell me about your chest pain, I can give them an appropriate answer. I don't have to rely on a, on a bank of, of, uh, of sounds. Okay. Although it does have some sounds in here that... Uh... You, can, you can come up and touch it. Or you know, just... Actually... Can you adjust the breathing like faster? I can. I can make it breathing faster. The skin is... is you know, <coughs> It's, uh, it's moderately credible, and it's, uh, you, know, you can actually feel his heart, just like with Harvey. You can listen then, to him. Yeah, and then with the stethoscopes, I, with like I say, first first year students, I could show them how to examine a heart. They're going to hear the sounds. As I said, I can manipulate the sounds to come across really loud, so that they're really successful. Everybody walks away with a "Ooh, wow." And then try to bring it down to a little bit more of, of normal, or to a higher level student. Maybe I would uh, put the challenge, put the bar a little bit higher. Uh, but I brought this guy in just wheel. And the nice thing is he's portable, so I brought him into a health assessment class. Where after we were done talking about heart sounds, in the middle of the room he comes. Everybody, everybody up! Everybody get gloves on. Get your stethoscopes in your ear. Let's go. And I think that's the way education is going to nursing or, or healthcare education is going to happen where there's going to be 30 minutes uh, lecture, and then it's like, okay, everybody up, and let's uh, pass that tube, or let's do that procedure, or let's practice that. And the cool thing is everybody gets to learn the same procedure. So even though uh, there may be team members that don't do the intubation, she or he is going to be, still needs to know how to do it, and if they've done it in the simulation center, if they then we'll be able to know how to interface with the individual that did it and see if there's any complications in it. It just makes everybody